a five color Niv Beanstalk list. And there's our nameplate card. We can get white here or blue as required. Yeah, we can go with this. So, a noob man walking. Okay. All right. Sensing black is a potential discard coming in. So let's just get a green down. Mana confluence. Interesting. Otherworldly get. Hmm, is this Phoenix? Oh, it's just Dredge. Right, okay. That Clarion will definitely come in clutch, so let's get a Beanstalk down. I haven't played this deck in a while, actually. be uh, interesting to see it. Oh, and I don't have my Graveyard Hate, because I was trying... I'm just going to explain in the sideboarding. I was trying to do something funny. Okay. Otherworldly Gaze. A lot of milling. Um, yeah, let's get a Fable down. So Clarion will be pretty good if they get a big turn returning everything. Grixis... Is this Reanimator? Okay, hard casting a prize amalgam. Come on, I know how to play against your deck, dude. Okay, so I'm going to discard two... No, one land? No, we've got this, which will be... This is four colors, we need blue. We'll get rid of these two lands. Get two more lands in return. Uh, of course we do. So let's get a basic blue up, and then let's uh, kill the amalgam. Blue. Then let's do this right. So let's start with... Tyrant scorning the prized amalgam. They're probably going to be a croaker coming soon. We're vanishing versus the big guy here. Mm, we are most definitely getting croaker next turn. Oh, they didn't hit their land. Okay, there's a mark amoeba. Returns their free prize amalgams. Another ugly world of gaze. Okay, free prize amalgams come back. We draw every land imaginable. So let's get another land down. We'll go to combat here, tack in, make ourselves a treasure. Uh, we're on 18. Can we do anything with that? That'll give us four. All right, let's put you into hand. I mean, we take. Okay, I think, do we do it here? Next turn they could Croaxer get back these. Croaxer could be an issue. Oh, this is awkward because I don't have a specific graveyard here, but I'm gonna give it, we're gonna risk it here. Let's see what they go for. combat. Alright, so Reflections is dying either way this turn, so let's... Actually, we could blink Reflections. Alright, not a popular idea here, but let's go down to 8. Go to my turn. Let's move to combat. Let's attack with this.
All right, they take that down seven. So let's start with the basics. Let's Yorion draw from Beanstalk. Blink, blink. Let's Clarion destroy all their board. Uh, do we Fable or do we Zen? I think we Zatora here. Fable comes back, makes us another token emergency blocker. Supreme Verdict could deal with anything scary. I'm assuming that we either get. Okay, they're milling themselves. Oh, they, the creeping chills. I forgot about creeping chills. Okay, that screws up the math significantly. We don't have the. F we don't. I just realised we don't have lightning helix in this deck because I haven't updated it properly for a while. Okay. Hardcaster, Murfolk, Secret Keeper. If we can get them low enough, they might not be able to use the. Uh... Hmm? Oh, are they escaping? Okay, discard your hand, you're free, they get back three amalgams here, and they get back those. Okay, let's start with you and you going away. That is... Of course, that's how it wants to go down. So let's go in with the attacks here. Okay, they'll end that live. Put them down to free. I think our best bet here is just Supreme Verdict. Actually, hold on, let's Beanstalk. Supreme Verdict. Beanstalk again. Could do with a, uh, a way to win this, boys. Oh, that is terrible. Bad flood there. Okay. Ancient One. just die if they hit two more creeping chills, which is bad. Here comes the Croaker. Oh no, the Angus. The Ox. Okay. And draw three cards. They're down to two. We just need to desperately find something. Agent one can attack. Well, that land isn't going to do nothing. Okay. Start with the growth spiral. Sure. Yeah, that makes sense, game. Four beanstalks, but not a single niv or a relevant spell. We saw one removal spell this game. Yeah, we've drawn so... There's an assassin's trophy. That ain't gonna do dick. We're gonna die, yep. Because we can draw literally four beanstalks and 20 lands. Jesus Christ, that's horrible. Uh, we don't even have a proper cyber for this. So this is for the Amelia decks, because I've seen it's funny that people are tying the match. Uh, I 
Yeah, Layla, wow. Look, there's so much stuff that could have really helped us out there. Yeah, we don't have Graveyard Hate uh, at the moment. Should really, because Phoenix really took a resurgence after this deck. Uh, this deck was literally... As soon as Explorers of Ixalan came out, I was testing out the Amelia deck for so long that I forgot to update this one. I'll put an updated list in the uh, description below. But yeah. Oh, good old Dredge, man. Oh no, Dredge is, um, a, well, it wasn't established, but it's one of the many, many, many uh, casualty casualties of the BS that was Modern Horizons 2 Mythic Cycle. Yeah, Endurance just basically made it so that this deck just doesn't exist. Yeah, Pioneer could be a good place for it, but honestly, I don't think Wizards are going to want it to be. They already have an established graveyard deck with the Phoenix strategy, and to them, cantripping and just... Alright, we can't keep this. This is great, but by turn 5 we'll get stomped, so let's... We can't keep this because we have nothing to play. And this basic screws us over because we can only get another basic. Sure, I guess we're keeping these five. Um, you and an Assassin's Trophy, I guess. We'll start with... Right. Shock in. Move to next phase. So what does this do at the beginning of the one and kind of descend it on it? Oh yeah, they're gonna descend a lot with this deck. Uh, fortunately I'm gonna have to take free here. Which is gonna suck, but I don't really have a choice. They had a perfect, well not a perfect seven. I shouldn't say perfect seven because obviously it's not, but... Uh, well, we gotta do this now. And we have to make them discard, which is gonna suck for us. Yep, there's an ox they can escape. We have all our lands, but I guarantee we're gonna be struggling here. So, what would be the best thing we could draw here? Um, well, we'll draw a Niv. That's the problem. We'll draw a Niv because we literally don't have any other option. Stitcher Supply and mills them into gazes. We could Beanstalk here. If we Beanstalk, what's our best bet? We draw some a land or something. Yeah, I want a Beanstalk. I don't want a Clarion yet, because, well, we are low life, but... Yep, there's a Niv I told you about we'd get. There's another land. There goes a Creeping Chill. Damage, and we still don't find a land, so I guess we just do this. See what they do on their turn. Podcast a prized amalgam. Of course, we don't find a land. We're going to get stranded with a Niv forever. Great fun, like I said. Well, they're hard drawing their prize amalgams, which is great, but we can't afford to not block. Okay. No, we have to block here, because if they have a way to mess with Niv, then it's just... Okay, you know what? Fine, there's two. Can we get lands? <laughs> of course we can't. Of course we can't. Yeah, this is... This is the sudden truth of arena sometimes. 
Fine, here's a beanstalk. Are you gonna give me a land here so I can cast a spell? Yeah, that's great, fine. I don't care, we're dead anyway. We can concede, probably, but... Cosmic Rebirth, I guess. If they drop a red here, I think we've lost. Otherworldly Gaze. Hit to, uh... Yeah, Knock Amoebas. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we are just dead here. We could... we need to top deck another Clarion or a removal spell. There's a Knock Amoeba. But ultimately we are just dead because, uh, well... Because we got royally dunked on by the gods of freaking BS that we have to deal with here. Um, when we start drawing lands, of course, significantly too late. Okay, we'll just grab back this Wandering Mind, see what six lands are on top of our deck. Oh no, not six lands. Alright, so now we're in an awkward position. Do I Leyline? I think I have to Leyline Binding. And hold this up, because we can draw two cards off the Beanstalk when we Leyline Binding. But we got to see what they do here. Creeping chill. Uh, okay, that's not quite enough. But it does leave us in a pretty awkward position here. So we've got a Leyline Binding, draw two cards. Fable, land. Okay, so we can block one on the air. Honestly, we have to take out one of these amalgams go down to one because now we have to block and block and they probably hit another creeping chill off the top no okay um what is the best way to do this Start playing a land. If we cast an if we can't cast another spell, so we've gotta just cast Wandering Mind. Hope to hit a Clarion. We hit the one that we already put to the bottom. Yep, that's game. Oh so two sides of a coin, ladies and gentlemen. What happens when we get matched with someone in a higher rank playing a glass cannon deck and our deck goes well, we'll give you a lens in game one, but in game two, we'll give you all the spells you wanted in game one to make up for the fact we didn't give you them in game one. Yeah, it's part of the variance of magic, but we love ranting about it, don't we?